What's up guys, how's it going? It's Sphinx here and I'm bringing you guys another video. Uh, today's video is a editing tutorial in Sony Vegas on how to do the, the RGB split. Uh, so you can do this with and without Magic Bullet Looks. Today I'm going to do it with Magic Bullet Looks because I think it's easier. So I highly suggest doing it this way. If you have it, if you don't, no worries. I'm going to make a follow-up video explaining how to do it without Magic Bullet Looks. So... First things first, let's go ahead and open up a clip. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one. Uh, and I'm going to delete the audio because we don't need it. Um, kind of disable resample. Alright, so next, I mean, once you find out where you want it to be, where you want to add the, uh, the, the effect, I'm going to do it where he shoots. So, I'm going to do mine right there um you want to just go grab your uh your magic bullet looks um throw that on there uh, hit animate add a, let me uh, add a keyframe let's see you go in here um for the sake of this tutorial just to make it easier um i'm gonna grab a saturation uh, and I'm going to turn that all the way down just so you can see the effect a little bit better. Uh, next, grab the uh, chromatic aberration. Um, again, uh, I like to use subject. You can also do it um, in lens. Um, and post. Um, I always just do subject just because. Um, now, if you mess with these values, um, you'll see the effect kind of take place you can see it looks like basically like 3d um, like a 3d movie that's the effect we're going for um, personally I like to stick to about negative 3 th negative 5 to 3 or 5 you know with just whatever you you know whatever you think um, you can do these like the opposite way um, I'm going to do like negative 5 here, but uh, it's kind of overdoing it, I don't know, it's all, you can play around with it, you know, it's all personal preference, uh, but I'm just going to put these to 0 for now, um, so there's that, hit finished, and then you have this here, if we go back one keyframe, we don't want the effect to take place, um, so we're going to go back in, or I'm, I'm sorry, we're going to hit uh, add keyframe, Go back in, go to this, and hit reset. So now, if we scroll through, there's no effect, no effect, no effect. Shoots, effect. Then just go to uh, wherever you want the effect to end. Let's say it's right there. And uh, grab this, hit reset again, hit finished. Um, it automatically adds the keyframe. Uh, so there you can, you see it, there's the effect. kind of quick um, let me just just drag that out yep so there you go you can still see it down there on the kill feed sorry I'm gonna the loop Alright, so there you go. Um, that's how you do this. If this was helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe for more tutorials. Uh, I hope you learned something. Stick around. There will be a follow-up video soon if you want to do this without magic bullet looks. But for now, I'm Sphinx, and I'm out. See you guys later.